it is really important that everybody has a device because without that you exclude young people from learning. One of the biggest challenges for the use of devices in any lesson is if you don't have enough for one per child. It's then how do you differentiate, how do you group the children and actually it presents barriers then for teachers to deliver lessons enabled by the use of, of personal devices. What's great about the scheme through Birmingham eLearning Foundation is that it does enable every child to access that technology on a lesson by lesson, day by day basis. And so they truly be embraced to enhance learning. All of our projects are, are built around the one-to-one -one model. We are absolutely adamant that, that the big gains are to be made by children having unique access and, and solitary access to the device, both in the school and at home. That, um, work then. Yeah, when's the assessment? It should be in our uh, calendar. We use Outlook. Students are regularly in communication with their teachers in regards to what's coming up, what work they need to do, what deadlines, what tests they're setting, all via the appointments functionality. The teacher would um, email us some work, what we should do for the lesson, so then we can look at, um, the teacher gives us instructions what we're meant to do. The iPad really has benefited all of us, really. It's easier to interact with the teachers. That's going to help us like, progress more. So how are you going to represent the enzymes? I think it's been beneficial to me because um, I can organise things in the calendars. I can write notes down. I can do to-do lists. Obviously, we have apps that help us out. So we've got iMotion, we've got things like Evernote and Notes Plus, things that can aid us. Um, sometimes you will have the teacher um, say to us, OK, next, in the next five minutes, research something. And then we had the time to go on our iPads, research something. Teachers check their email frequently. So if you're just sending them an email saying, sir, I don't have my homework sheet, or how do I do this? When they're free, they will reply to you and you can get the answers you need without waiting until the next school day. It's really important that children have all got iPads because it gives us that flexibility when we're working. If we have something that crops up very quickly, we can use the iPads to actually do some research. It's become pretty seamless uh, in class now when we're using the iPads uh, because of the fact that uh, the children are so used to them and how to use them that we very often gear our lessons around being able to use the iPad within that lesson. We've had the iPad for two years, about two years, be uh, because we got them in year four. They're better because in year four we like had to, to always run down to the computer suite to get the laptops to do things, but now we can just do it all on our iPad. This is a year three classroom and we're currently doing a guided reading lesson with the iPads. The programme that they're on is called Reading Eggs and it's reinforcing that you're learning on your own and learning's not always from me. Reading Eggs is just about learning. It's about like, learning about words and like sentences. It's a really good tool for assessment for learning because you can see what they've done but also share their work with other children so then that they can put it in to practice themselves. Teachers do start to see an impact on, on pupils' attainment in literacy, numeracy, problem solving, creativity, right across the board. I bring the iPad home every day and I always charge it. When I have free time, I tell my mum to come and then I tell her to um, um, help me with um, athletics and I excel and grammar alive. Um, yeah, three, three, four, if you get Toy Store. Um, athletics okay. likes uh, doing activities, yeah. Uh, and algebra as well, I'm sure. Yeah, he's really enjoyed that as well and I help him solve the problems and uh, read the questions and we just solve together. And then from the car dealership. 
to the bakery. I do iPad like uh, when I use myself as well, <laughs> some cooking shows, all the like cooking stuff as well. It helps me a lot as well, yeah. Um, I have um, one hour for doing the English and then another hour for maths and then I just go on my free games. Teachers do start to see an impact on, on pupils' attainment in literacy, numeracy, problem solving, creativity, right across the board. The tool itself will never be a bad thing, but with the right teacher and the right curriculum focus and the right educational app, it really does mean that children can be um, inspired and enabled to, to go that bit further. Birmingham eLearning Foundation is a charity and if we can help you wherever you are, we can be reached at www.belf.org.uk.